at YouTube, Instagram, it's Big Dre20. I have uh, my 370 amp alternator from Auto Tech Engineering. I have my other one over there from Auto Tech. It's going inside here with the triple alternator bracket from Dan at BlueGhost.org. Putting everything together right here. As a matter of fact, that's his name, Dan. That's the address, the phone number. If you want to contact him from your alternator brackets and your, because with all the pulleys and everything needed, the pulley that's on here now is like the tension. You can just adjust it so the um, for the tension for the belt comes with uh, the belt needed for the application and the two other pulleys going to be needed for the belt to spin around. Right now, I'm about to get it installed. Just gotta take these three bolts off right here. One, two, three. It's a 15 millimeter. Take those off. I'm gonna loosen the tension right now to pull the belt off so I can get to it. It's gonna sit just like this. Right underneath the stock alternator. And it's gonna be on the side. You put one on the top. And one right here on the bottom. So when it's said and done, eventually I might relocate the stock. I'm gonna use this stock alternator for the truck, and I'm gonna use the two AutoTech 370s from my audio side, charging my lithium for um, you know the car audio. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show the steps. I'm gonna break it down in parts. Once I get the bracket on there, I'm gonna start. Laying down um, the alternators, and like I said, one's gonna go right here on top, and the other one's gonna go right here on the bottom. And this, these three here, these three bolts, holes, bolts into the the block itself. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, like I said, I might relocate the stock to underneath and have the two auto techs on top. One right here, and then obviously the other one right next to it. That's what I'm thinking about doing. But in order to do that, I'm gonna have to extend the factory wire harness. And today, I, I'm getting a late start on it, so I just don't have the kind of time. I start a new job tomorrow, so gotta get up pretty early in the morning. But sooner or later, I will be rerouting the stock alternator to the bottom of the bracket, and then probably put Either the auto tech, this one, on this side, and then have the big Dre 20 in the middle, or vice versa. So as soon as you, as soon as I pop the trunk or the hood, <laughs> my bad, I'm tripping. As soon as I pop the hood, we'll have the two auto techs right here side by side, and then eventually I might change the stock for a nice another auto tech engineering. But for right now. I had the two 370s, so just showing you guys what's going on, I'm getting it all together for my project. This is a 2007 Chevy Tahoe LTZ, sitting on 28 inch rims, and uh, this is going to be the first step for me getting my audio side together. Alright, stay tuned for more, hope you like what you see, as always, it's peace and love, thanks for watching. Alright YouTube. Instagram, it's Big Ray 20. Getting the project together. 2007 Tahoe LTZ. Over here working on the alternator. Got the Big Ray 20 um, Auto Tech Engineering 370 amp alternator. And I have uh, another 370 amp alternator. They're both billet style casings. And I have the stock right here, of course. I'm going to be relocating the stock to the down here. And I'm going to redo the wiring and everything, get it down there. So the stock alternator is going to be charging the truck itself. And the two AutoTech Engineering 370s will be charging the, the lithium for the audio side. So these are the three boats that came with the triple alternator bracket from Blue Ghost. Just 
put them right there bolt them to the to the engine itself everything's real sturdy this is not going anywhere the pulley right here is like a tensioner has you can shift it left to right to put the tension on the um, belt if need be so like i said i'm going to be relocating the stock alternator putting it down here you're not really going to be able to see it and i'm going to have the bitch ray 20 custom auto took engineering alternator and the other one side by side on top so when i pop the hood that's all you'll be able to see it's the big Dre 20 and the auto tech right next to it so i'm just trying to get everything together eventually i'll wire it up have my runs of two watt i have some two watt welding cable i'm going to be running two runs from each alternator straight to the back i'll have uh one positive and uh, one negative, which I'm gonna be grounded to the alternator itself. So more than likely, I'm gonna have one ground right here in the positive from each alternator, each 370 to the back, to the um, the um, my lithium banks. I got C-Max lithium. I'm gonna be building two banks of 240 amp hours. So stay tuned for that. Trying to get this out of your side taken care of, but before I can just go ahead and jump into getting you know the boom and system together, I want to make sure my electric goes up to par first. So that's what I'm doing. I'm getting the two 370 amp alternators wired up. Then I'm gonna have the two banks of uh C Max lithium. And then from there, I'm gonna start getting the deading together for this vehicle. I'm gonna pull the panels off. And hit the the denting on the vehicle because it is real flimsy real flimsy so i'm gonna put some denting in it make sure uh everything's sealed up so it doesn't sound like crap and these are just steps getting things together so i hope you guys like what you see stay tuned for more as always it's peace and love thanks for watching hey youtube instagram it's big ray 20 I have uh, my 370 amp alternator from Auto Tech Engineering. I have my other one over there from Auto Tech. It's going inside here with the triple alternator bracket from Dan at BlueGhost.org. Putting everything together right here. As a matter of fact, that's his name, Dan. That's the address, phone number. If you want to contact him from your alternator brackets and your because with all the pulleys and everything needed, the pulley that's on here now is like the tension. You can just adjust it so the um, for the tension for the belt comes with uh, the belt needed for the application, and the two other pulleys are gonna be needed for the belt to spin around. So for right now, I'm about to get it installed. Just got to take these three bolts off right here. One, two, three. It's a 15 millimeter. Take those off. I'm going to loosen the tension right now to pull the belt off so I can get to it. It's going to sit just like this. Right underneath the stock alternator. And it's going to be on the side. Put one on the top and one right here on the bottom. So when it's said and done, eventually I might relocate the stock. I'm gonna use this stock alternator for the truck and I'm gonna use the two Autotech 370s for my audio side. Charging my lithium for um, you know the car audio. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show the steps. I'm gonna break it down in parts. Once I get the bracket on there, I'm gonna start laying down um, the alternators. And like I said, One's gonna go right here on top, and the other one's gonna go right here on the bottom. And this, these three here, these three bolts, holes, bolts into the, the block itself. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and like I said, I might relocate the stock to underneath and have the two auto techs on top. 
one right here and then the, obviously the other one right next to it that's what i'm thinking about doing but in order to do that i'm gonna have to extend the factory wire harness and today i i'm getting a late start on it so i just don't have the kind of time i start a new job tomorrow so gotta get up pretty early in the morning but sooner or later i will be rerouting the stock alternator to the bottom of the bracket and then probably put either the auto tech this one on this side and then have the big Dre 20 in the middle or vice versa so as soon as you as soon as i pop the trunk or the hood <laughs> my bad i'm tripping as soon as i pop the hood we'll have the two auto takes right here side by side and eventually i might change the stock for a nice another auto take engineering but for right now i have the two 370s so just showing you guys what's going on getting it all together for my project this is a 2007 Chevy Tahoe LTZ sitting on 28 inch rims and uh, this is going to be the first step for me getting my audio side together alright stay tuned for more hope you like what you see as always peace and love thanks for watching